Hello, in this video we will look at how to add this operating system field like um, we'll have a kind of a choice field where users can um, click on it and then choose whether it is Windows 10, Windows 8, Linux or any other operating system that we allow them to choose. So I'm going to show you two ways of achieving this. Both of them are very simple but I'm going to start with the simplest one first. Right. So on the blog side, I already have the codes typed. Now um, go to look for Django 22 choice fields and then copy this code. So paste this in models of py in any of these lines and the operating system um, field will be a choice field and this will be linked to this uh, choice that we type here and will be limited to only these choices that we have. So save it and then go to the forms.py depending on where you want it to appear on the um, on your form i want that operating system field to be immediately after the ip address so i'm gonna add an extra field called operating system and then forget the comma if not you will have an error okay so save it and then go to the application and click refresh all right seems we have an error okay non field operating system so i have a typo right there so come to operating make sure you type it correctly and run the server again and this time it runs so now you can see we have an operating system so this is one way of doing it the limitation of this is if a new operating system comes out let's say windows 11 comes out you'll have to go back into the code and add it as a choice field i have to come in and add windows 11 then the users will have the option to choose windows 11 from the field but this is not very dynamic let's say now we develop this system we give it to the client and windows 11 comes out you'll have to go back in there and then add this which is not very friendly all right so in the next video we'll see how to allow the users to add these fields on their own and anytime they can go in and remove operating systems they can add in new ones which is a lot more dynamic and allow the application to be more usable right but before you save anything in the database let's say um let's we choose an operating system microgress then the username IP which is uh, any of this data if I click save look at the error we have not search column Django computer the operating system so the reason why we have this error is um, we didn't um, type make migration and migrate so in our codes the codes have an extra field which is not um, reflected in the database so in order for us to do that we'll have to do make migrations then migrate We're gonna type manage.py make migrations and then manage.py migrate. Alright, so with that we can click refresh and the data will now be saved in the database. So you can see alpha dash species added. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please give us a like. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Otherwise, see you in the next video.